It's time, time, time for Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Helping to get your day started right. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Friday, February 5th, 2016. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day. To share your faith with somebody, use this day. To show God's love to somebody, use this day to encourage somebody in their walk. Or encourage somebody to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And while you're at it today, give Him praise. Because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of all of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Titus, chapter number 1. And it's verses 1 through 4. Scripture says, Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect, and the acknowledging of the truth, which is after godliness, in the hope of eternal life, which God, that cannot lie, promised before the world began, but hath in due times manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me according to the commandment of God our Savior, to Titus, mine own son, after the common faith, Grace and mercy, her grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Friends, we've been studying this week some of the introductions to the various books that, or letters that Paul had had written, and we're seeing some common themes here as we as we study along here. And here in in Titus chapter one, he says. He says that Paul identifies himself as two things, as a servant of God and as an apostle of of Jesus Christ. A servant of God, Paul was serving God. Paul wasn't serving his own interests. When Paul went out and was doing those missionary journeys, when he was, was standing up for the faith and teaching the faith, when he was beaten, when he was arrested, he wasn't doing that to bring glory to himself. Paul talks about that, I believe it's in the book of Philippians, that that boasting is evil and that he doesn't boast in in his sufferings or he doesn't boast in the things he does but he boasts in the cross the cross of christ and paul is a true servant he is a servant of god and he did what god had called him to do and then he says he's an apostle of jesus christ remember we had said earlier in the week that an apostle is simply a messenger somebody who's taking the message from one person to another Paul was taking the message that God had given him and was proclaiming it to the people that God had sent him to. So Paul was a servant and he was a messenger of God. And the two, my friends, go hand in hand. You can't serve God if you're not willing to take the message he's given you. Not all of us are called to be pastors and preachers and Bible teachers and things like that. But all of us are called to take a message. And sometimes some of our greatest messages are not ever actually spoken, but it's in the way that we live our lives. He goes on here in verse number 1, talking about his being a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ. He says it's according to the faith of God's elect and the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness. So Paul is a servant and and an apostle according to the faith of God's elect. What's he mean by God's elect? That's people that that has chosen to give their lives to God, that surrendered their lives to him. These are the people that have elected to follow God's path for salvation, which is accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So the faith that we have in the work of Jesus on the cross is what prompted Paul to be able to be a servant of God and a messenger of God. But also... His being a servant and apostle is not only according to his faith, but it's according to acknowledging of the truth, which is after godliness. It's acknowledging the truth, that's hearing the gospel message, realizing it's the truth, and accepting it for what it is. You know, one of the things I I think about when I think about acknowledging something, is you know when you're getting a phone call and you look down at the phone and you see who it is. You could either accept a call or you can reject a call. Friends, the same thing is true with the truth of the Word of God. You can either accept it or you can reject it. It's up to you. You accept it. You accept the call. You accept the truth, which is after godliness, which is a godly character. 
Then he goes on, acknowledging the truth, which is after godliness, in the hope or in hope of eternal life. Paul's faith and Paul's acknowledging of the truth has a hope of eternal life. And remember yesterday we had said that this type of hope that Paul is talking about here isn't a hope of uncertainty, but it's a hope of certainty. He knows that this eternal life that was promised through Jesus, that he is he is a servant of, that he is taking the message of, that is the basis of his faith because he accepted the truth. He knows that that is true. He says, in hope of eternal life, which God, that cannot lie, promised before the world began. If God says you're going to have eternal life if you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then that's the truth because God cannot lie. Then in verse number 3, he says, But hath in due times manifested or made known his word through preaching, which is committed unto me according to the commandment of God our Savior. So this faith that he's talking about, this truth that he's talking about, this hope in eternal life that God promised before the world began, that's the message that he has made known in his word through preaching. And Paul was committed to preaching, being a servant of God, being a messenger of God. He was, con- he was, he was committed to preaching that commandment, that, that hope, that faith. He was committed to preaching that by the commandment of God. Paul knew what he was called to do. Here's the question for us today. Do you know what you're called to do? Paul knew, Paul was certain about his faith. Paul was certain about the truth of the word of God. Paul was certain of eternal life, which was promised. He was so sure of those things that he committed his life to serving God, taking the message that God had made known in his word and preaching it to the people that God had sent him to. Friends, do you know what you are called to do today? And even more importantly, are you doing it? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you. And then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day. (music) 